On the medical watch, a fast and furious race on the lake and an even more speedy recovery from an injury that nearly sidelined a key player in the Sail Grand Prix competition taking place in the water off Chicago's Navy Pier this weekend. As they gather in Chicago, crews from nine F-50 catamarans will show off their speed in the water off Navy Pier with one unlikely participant. But no one really believed I was going to be able to make it. This moment floods back as this experienced sailor recalls a day during practice prior to the Denmark Grand Prix. We were coming into the bottom mark doing 95 kilometers an hour. So, you know, super fast. And we basically did a turn at the bottom mark. Um, something went slightly wrong and the boat uh, healed over extremely quickly. And it, in my role, I'm basically controlling everything. So I haven't really got a hand to hold on. As the two-ton rig nearly tipped, U.S. Sail GP team wing trimmer Paul Campbell James tumbled. While trying to right the vessel, his leg could not take the weight. Yeah, I finished the race, and then the boys were like, are you okay? And I said, uh, not really, no, I should probably get the medic rib over. You know, the doctor in the medic rib was like, looked at me for about three seconds, touched my leg for about two seconds and said, yeah, you've broken your fibula. X-rays show the break straight through the fibula in his right leg bone. Doctors operated immediately, but healing would take precious time. Paul didn't have the luxury of standard rehab time, as the race was just three weeks away, and he was bound to compete with his team. Now, I think there is a, a real notion out there that sailing is an elite sport, non-athletic, sort of pour yourself a gin and tonic and sit back and enjoy the ride. Well, this is much different. There's serious consequences here. Uh, boats are going very, very fast, very athletic. I could feel something moving in my leg that doesn't normally move. And he said, there is a slim chance we can make this happen. We can operate on Monday. This was on the Sunday. We, we could operate on Monday first thing. The only problem is I can't get an anesthesiologist, so I'm just going to have to locally numb it while I open up your leg drill a load of holes in the bone and put a plate on top. But the good thing about it is it will get better quicker and you'll recover quicker if you don't go under general anesthetic. So, and I said, fine, yeah, let's do it. My name is Summer and we're going to see Daddy Dawson. Dad's drive and athleticism put Paul at the helm of his recovery. Being kind of quite an active person, having that goal of 18 days to get better was really good kind of mentally for me. Miraculously, by day three, he was up, barely able to put weight on his leg. Two days later, a smoother gait, and by one week post-surgery, cast off, cane in hand, Paul was on his way. Day 10, and you would barely know he had an accident. Because we're at the pinnacle of the sport, and everybody loves a sail GP, all the sailors especially love doing it, so you don't want to lose your spot. Strength training with some help from Summer. It looked like Paul was on his way to participating in his favorite summer sport. He biked and ran with his eye on sailing through recovery. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's not, I mean, not only is it a sport we love, but it's also a profession and a, and a job. So, you know, the pressure was on to get back into it to, do it, to, um, to pay the bills and, and earn the money. But, you know, to be, to be able to sail these boats with these people and against these people is, uh, yeah, the best job in the world, so yeah, it's, it's wicked fun. And you can have wicked wow. fun this weekend if you want to see Paul in action. The Sail GP event with speeds of up to 60 miles per hour is this weekend. We have the full schedule on our website at WGNTV.com. I'll be out there. That's amazing. Like a ton of fun. <laughs>